Hello, my name is Luigi Biasco and I am an interventional cardiologist practicing in Turing, Italy. Today, I'll be discussing for PCR Online the 10 years results of the Notion trial, which has been just presented as a late-breaking clinical trial at ESC 2023 by Dr. Trolls Jorgensen from Greek Hospital in Copenhagen. Notion has been the first trial that randomized patient aged above 70 years with severe aortic stenosis at low or intermediate surgical risk to surgery or TAVI with a first generation self expandable device. 280 patients with a mean age of about 8 years and a mean STS score of 3 were randomized between 2009 and 2013 in three Nordic centers. Primary outcome was a composite of death, stroke, or MI at one year. Clearly, the trial was not powered to assess differences to such a long follow-up, and a lot has changed in the last 10 years with regards to patient selection, pre-procedural workup, implant procedure, and available devices. But given this premises, my first question to Trolls is, what is the clinical take-home message that we can draw from the 10 years notion data? Yeah. Uh, first off, thank you for, for giving me the opportunity to discuss these results. So. For the all cause mortality, we found that 63% uh, of the patient had died after 10 years. Of course, as you can see, with no difference between the transcatheter or the surgical or the, uh, the other replacement. And more importantly, I think also is still the composite risk of all cause mortality, stroke, and myocardial infarction. Uh, as these all these complications can be debilitating for the, the patients and might be related to the procedure they had in the initially. And we found this to be 65% in both groups, of course, uh, with no significant difference between the two. Uh, your data are of interest, uh, given the very long follow-up av available. What we can learn from your data about valve durability, what are the rates of structural valve deterioration and bioprosthetic valve failure? Are those rates comparable among percutaneous and surgical prosthesis? So both yes and no. Um, we applied the, the standardized uh, definition from 2017 from EPCI uh, on the Notion trial and found that the risk of structural valve deterioration was uh, 38% after the surgical or, or in patients with surgical bioprosthesis and only 20% in patients with transcatheter heart valves. However, this definition has been disputed previously as it contains the ore uh, between the mean gradient and an increase in the mean gradient. So actually we also um, employed a modified definition for structural valve deterioration, quite similar to the, the one in the VARC3 statement where you have, have to have, you have to have a mean gradient above 20 millimeter mercury and an increase of 10 millimeter mercury from baseline or moderate severe uh, intraprosthetic regurgitation. And here we did not find that the this risk of structural valve deterioration were increased for, uh, for the surgical bioprosthesis. Although for the modified and severe structural valve deterioration, the surgical bioprosthesis had a higher risk when compared to the transcatheter heart valves. And onto the, the question about bioprosthetic valve failure, uh, which, which is also, of course, quite important, especially for the patient, as this is a composite risk of a valve-related death, severe structural valve deterioration, or the need for aortic valve re-intervention. We found this risk to be around uh, 10% for the transcatheter heart valves and 15% for the surgical bioprosthesis, uh, and with no differences between the two groups. So 10.8% biocytic valve failure rates of a first generation self-expandable device at 10 years. This is quite reassuring regarding valve durability. An additional question regarding life expectancy in Europe is about 80 years in male and 84 years in females, and current TSC guidelines support the adoption of TAVI in patients with age over 75 uh, years or a high risk for surgery with a class 1A indication. Do you think that according to your data, it is justified to extend a class 1 indication to younger patients? Of course, this, this is a, a difficult question because the, the data are reassuring for, for the elderly patients with a low surgical risk, I think. Uh, but, but to move on to, to uh, the younger patients, 
but to move on to the younger patients uh, will include more patients with bicuspid valves. And, and I think we don't have any randomized data to, to, uh, to be able to, to justify that. Uh, further, with regards to the valve durability, these patients only had, as you mentioned, the first generation self-expandable core valve, which is now out of production. So, so is the durability similar for all transcatheter heart valves? That's also a question. And also the technical details of the implant procedure have changed a lot. So uh, probably, hopefully, the durability of the transcatheter heart valve that we are implanting today will show a longer durability in the long-term follow-up. Uh, an additional uh, question regarding causes of data follow-up. Once aortic stenosis is treated, what is the relationship between cardiovascular and non-cardiovascular deaths? So in the all-cause mortality, as I showed, was around 63%. For the cardiovascular death, it was around 50% in actually in both groups with no difference between the groups. So, so that leaves around 10% for non-cardiovascular deaths. So cardiovascular mortality remains the leading cause of mortality at long-term follow-up for patients with aortic stenosis. Yeah, okay. it seems. Uh, Trolls, my last question is, is any additional follow-up of your patient planned? Yeah, so, so we are planning to follow these patients until the none left to follow. And, and we, we, if the two frails are coming for hospital visits, we, we, we uh, offer at-home visits with those echo nurse. So we have to expect additional data from your from the Notion trial in the next future. Yeah, definitely. So thank you, Trolls, for giving us the opportunity to interview you today. And thanks to PCR Online uh, for giving us the possibility to share the data from the Notion trials uh, 10 years follow up. <laughs>